Hey guys, Fallen Zion here again. I'm on my Alpha Clone, Mr. Condit, and today we're going to be doing some high sec exploration. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the fits you need and how to use a third party tool called Dotland to find systems that are empty enough and have a higher chance of having data and relic sites in them. So we'll use Dotland to find empty systems and then we'll go over there, start scanning. And then we'll find some data, data and relic sites and hack them. And I'll show you how to do it from A to Z. The first thing we need to do is get our fitting ready. So to do that, we're going to go to this circle here or press Alt F to open up our fitting window. And then in our holes and fits, we're going to type magnate. And then we're going to right click on the magnate and simulate ship. It's going to bring up the magnate simulation. I've done this. Uh, many many times in the past so I know exactly what I need to put on my magnate to make it a good little alpha clone uh, side runner um, I'm gonna show you guys all those modules right now So of course we're gonna need the data analyzer tech one and the relic Analyzer tech one. So if you go to, to the hardware section here and you can go into the modules and you can search terms, so you can just search for data and relic. And then when they pop up, you just drag and drop them on your ship. Next thing we're gonna need is a 5MN micro warp drive. Um, I like to just go with the cheapest one, because I think <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Uh, as long as we save a lot of money on our fit, that's the main main goal. We, we don't want anything too expensive. Uh, see, that's 100,000. So if you just right click on these, you can view market details and you can see how cheap or expensive they are. I think the, oh yeah, definitely not the compact. We just want the cheapest one. Let's see. Yeah, so this is just gonna be 5MN micro warp drive tech one. Just gonna drag and drop that on our ship. And then next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get some speed modules because we wanna be super speedy in space. So we're gonna look for propulsion. Propulsion upgrades. We can do a couple inertia stabilizers. Just get the cheapest ones. Oh, just a tech one. Just to make us go into warp faster because we're going to be warping around a lot. Next thing we're going to look for is nanofiber. Yep, nanofiber tech one. And I think we can just put on two of those and we're good. So these make us fly faster and go to work faster. And then we're gonna need our um, probe scanner, probe scan launcher. So we, I think we can just type in probe and it'll pop up all our probe stuff. We just want a core probe launcher tech one. Just drag and drop that onto our ship. And then we can go to charges here and then select our core probe launcher and that's gonna tell us what kind of probes we need. So what we're gonna do with these, we're gonna, I'm gonna click on them and then hold shift while I'm clicking on them and then drag them into my inventory. And it's gonna ask me how many I want. I wanna say uh, 16 because that gives me eight in the launcher and then eight in my cargo hold. So I can always have my, my probe launcher loaded and I'll show you how to do that when we get started. So now we've got our 16 probes in our hold and the next, the last thing we need to do is put in our rig slots. So we'll go back over here to modules and we're gonna be looking for rigs. So right here, rigs. We're gonna be looking for uh, scanning rigs, small scanning rigs, and we're looking for the small gravity capacitor upgrades. And they're very cheap. I think there should be only 40 to 50,000 each. And we're just gonna drag two of these onto our ship. Gravity capacitor upgrades. And if you right click on them and then show info, it tells us that it gives a, uh, it's designed to increase a ship scan probe strength. And if we go to attributes, we can say that, we can see that it increases our scan strength by 10%, which is really, really good. So if we have two of them, it's a total of 10%. And then the ship also gives us uh, bonuses to scan strength. Um, let's see if you can see here. Yeah, so for every um, level of a Mar frigate skill that I have, I get a 7.5% bonus to core and combat pro scanner probe strength. So once you've got a uh, simulated magnate fit, 
all you have to do is click save as down here in the bottom and then we're going to type in exploration and then click save next thing we're going to do we're going to go to our back to our holes and fits and if magnate still searched here we're going to be able to see our exploration magnate that we just built just click on that and then you can right you can either right click on it and buy all or you can go down to this multi-fit or this multi-buy and, cl and click on that that's usually what i do so open multi-buy and it's going to bring up all the stuff we need for this fit and it's going to show us how much it is but to the estimate it looks like it's about 700 mil or 700 thousand so rather, sorry uh and then so it looks like in mr it is about 800 thousand because everything's a little more expensive than mr but that's okay um i got the money so let's go ahead and do it and it's still under a million so that's perfect for me so we're going to go ahead and click buy and it's going to buy all that stuff next thing we're going to do we're going to go into our inventory this little box up here in the corner and we're going to find our magnate we're going to right click on our magnate we're going to go to multi-fit and we're going to choose the the fit that we just built called exploration and then click exploration and then it's going to say ship to fit one one package ship and ship hanger that's our magnate and then one sets of selected fit available in our hanger that's all the different modules that we we bought to go with it so on our multi-fit we're just going to say fit ships and it's going to go ahead and fit the sh our ship up and name it for us right there and then we're going to double click on it to jump right on in and then we're going to get to exploring all right once we have our magnate we want to exit the simulation so we'll just click this box exit simulation and look there it is we're inside our ship as you can see so we move this out of the way a little bit there's our ship and we're inside it and we just need to drag next thing we need to do we need to drag our probes and our hold onto our probe launcher so you just go into your inventory here and then drag and drop your probes on there and then you're going to see it has eight core scanner probes in it now and then it's good to note that the base sensor strength is 79 points which gives us pretty much as much strength as we need to scan any data or relic site in high sec all right after we have our ship and our fits ready to go and we're in our major trade hub Amar in, in my case we're going to go to we're going to open up a browser window and go to evemaps.lan.net this is a very useful site if you want to find areas to explore that aren't uh, very densely populated because the more populated they are the lower the chance you have of finding a open relic or data site because people have probably already run them so what we're going to do is we're going to go to this uh, search window here the search box and we're going to type in amar and then it's going to pop up all this stuff we just want amar domain 1.0 and then search all right it's going to pop up our region here domain so what we want to look for this just gives us the, the um, security status of all these different uh, systems around us but we don't want to see that we just want to see the jumps per 24 hours and as you can see here Amar has the most jumps but we want to find somewhere with just a little bit of jumps and also just note the colors around these systems and if it's green that means high sec if it's red that means low sec so you we want to steer clear of all the red because we don't want to go into low sec yet so it looks like just right next to us, there's a system called IDES. That may be a good place to start because it only has 39 jumps in the last 24 hours. So we, we can explore this whole chain right here. That's the first thing that pops out to me with the lowest jumps. So yeah, we just want to look for the place with the lowest jumps and kind of make our make our way over there. So what you can do is you can just say, okay, you can make note of these different systems and we're going to have to plug them into our route. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So we're going to minimize this and I'm going to trace the route that we need to go to get to IDES. So I'll show you how to do that right now. So if we go to our, our .land browser, we can see that, okay, we need to go to uh, Herilla, Chim, uh, Chimilpip, and Husofad to get to IDES. So we're going to need to plug in all these systems to get to IDES. But we can actually just fly straight to, to eyes, but we don't want to do that. We, we want to hit every single system in this chain to see if we can find a data and relic site. And I 
and all, and I'm almost a hundred percent sure that we're gonna find a data data and relic site in that chain because it's it's very has very low traffic. And if we don't find anything there, then we can just pop around to Lakshai and this this little cluster over here and um, explore that next. So let's go ahead and start plugging in this route. So our first uh, destination on the route is gonna be Horilla. So we just go to our people and places magnifying glass here, and we're gonna type in Horilla. And then it's gonna pop up before it jumps away. We're gonna right click on it, add waypoint. That'll be our first stop. Next place we need to go is Chimilpip. Chimilip. And you don't need to type in the whole system, just a few characters is probably fine. And then we're gonna right click on ch uh, Chimilip and add waypoint. That'll be our second stop. And then just keep going down the chain. Hisso. I think Hisso is probably good. Yep, Hisso fad. We'll add waypoint. And then we're gonna go to. Anilla, add waypoint, Sa'eri, add waypoint, and then we're going to plug in the next system, La Nina, and then the last system we're going for is Ides, and just for a bonus round, you can go to the system right next to that called ETAB, and then you can actually pop down this whole this next cluster over here. So E tab, and then that actually, and that'll probably be good for now. And as you can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight systems that we can explore now. So that probably took about two minutes to pop it to, to add all these systems. I know it's a lot of work, but this will save us a lot of time in the long run since we already have our route plan and we know exactly what our plan is and <laughs> what we're going for. All right, now that we have our route, obviously the, the next thing we need to do is undock from Amar and make sure we got our probes and everything. If we got our probes, and we're gonna head all the way to our first stop on our route, Horilla. So just right click in space or sorry, right click on the first uh, system in our route and then jump through Stargate. And I like to kind of clean up my little modules here. And this can kind of go off to the side because we're not going to be activating that very much. Just a few times every time we enter the system. So we're going to get all the way to Horilla and start scanning. And of course we're going to need our probe scanner open here so we can see what systems need to be scanned. We, if, if your probe scanner isn't open, then we can click on our scanners here and then, click, and then it opens a radio menu if we click on our scanners and then we can go to probe scanner. And there it is. And we're going to be specifically looking for, we're going to be specifically looking for cosmic signatures. There's actually nothing in here but we'll see you in the next system, hopefully. But yeah, we're making our way down there right now to Horilla. Yeah, so we actually want to look for cosmic signatures. So we can just turn off everything in this filtered window that isn't cosmic signature. So you just uncheck everything that's not a cosmic signature. And then right click on our next jump and just go to Chesso. And you know what I just realized? There's actually nobody in the system here, or all, and there's two signatures. So we can just go ahead and get started in, in this system right here. So if you ever jump through a Stargate, but you don't want to actually do it, just start spamming this minus sign to stop your ship. And that won't that'll force you to stop jumping through the Stargate. So just keep spamming that. Just keep spamming the minus sign. Alright. So we're just gonna chill on this gate right here. And we're gonna click on our probes. And there they go. They're gonna pop out. So you can see our little probes in space now, which is great. And then we can go click on our little baby solar system map right here, right next to filters. 
and that's going to pop up a map visualization of where all, all our probes are in space and how far they can scan. So we're going to focus on this first signature here and we're going to drag our probes into this signature here. So that's all we got for now and just and you can drag it from the top and then you can click this little bottom here this little button here to toggle the side view and or you can just double click on the screen so we only want to see this one so it's kind of highlighted for us so we want to make sure our probes are lined up on top of that signature and as you can see this red bubble is bigger than our than our, our radius that our probes can scan so we want to make it bigger and to that, do that you can either go here on your probe launcher and increase the probe size or you can press alt alt and then the scroll wheel up to increase the, the probe size so we want to make sure our probes encompass this red bubble here so it looks like it's encompassing the red bubble right there so we're going to click analyze or we can click the hotkey b so it's, it makes it a lot quicker if you utilize all the hotkeys obviously so take a couple minutes to learn all the hotkeys so double clicking goes from vertical to horizontal on your map. B moves your probes to the location and begins the scan. And then Alt, scroll wheel up and down, moves your probe size to bigger and smaller. So it looks like we actually pinpointed the signature we weren't going for, it's 20%. So I usually just like to start with the one I have uh, the most narrowed down. So I'm gonna click on the 20% one and then I'm going to align my probes on top of that one and then kind of make sure my probe bubble is around the red circle and look, that looks good right there and then I'm going to press B to send my probes over there and begin scanning. Alright so see that's a combat site we're not looking for that so we can just right click on that ignore result. Then we're going to go to the next one. Move our probes into place. Make sure it's lined up horizontally and vertically. And then we're going to make sure our probe ball is encompassing the red ball. That looks good right there. And then we're going to press B to start scanning. And as you can see, it gives like a little visual representation of our probe scanning right here. And it looks like we're at 43% is a wormhole. We don't want that. So we're just going to right click, ignore result. And then we're going to click this um, button here to recover active probes. And then that's it. And yeah, make sure that your probe launcher is set to auto re reload on. So I just turn it off. If I set auto re reload on, it'll automatically grab the eight probes in my cargo hold and go ahead and load my launcher. So we don't have to sit here on the gate and just and right click and reload our launcher um, manually. So let's go to the next system. We're gonna right click our, our uh, jump here and then jump through Stargate. And since we're just sitting right here, it's gonna jump us through automatically. All right, here we are on the next system. All right, there's three signatures here. So we might as well scan these. So just double click in space to uncloak your ship. And then you can click the minus sign to stop your ship. We're gonna click on our little probe launcher and if we watch it for a second, we can see that it automatically loads the eight spare probes that we had in our cargo hold, which is super, super useful and saves a lot of time. All right, so once we got our probes uh, out of our ship, shot out of our, our launcher, we can go to our little baby map here. And we're gonna, I guess we can just do a one big scan since it's a, there's a big cluster right here. So I'll just kind of increase all our, our, our probe size and I'll try to encompass all these big red bubbles in there. It might be a little hard to see, but it looks like I'm on top of all these bubbles. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do a general scan and see what, what we've come up with. And then I'll just go for the one that we have the highest percentage uh, signal. All right, it looks like it was pretty close. So we got this one at 20%, so let's just go ahead and start there. So we just want to 
get our probes aligned up over that uh, s signature. And then that looks pretty good right there. So then we're gonna press B to start our analyzation. All right, it looks like it's a wormhole, so we're gonna right click on that, ignore result. The next one we have the highest signal strength for is this one right here. So if you see that there's a uh, signature that has two dots on it, highlighted for some reason, that just means it's being a little tricky to scan down. So what I do is I put my probes right in between these and make sure my bubble is still en encompassing them. And then I'll do a scan right in between them to narrow down which one's the real one. It tries to throw you off by giving you a fake one, but we're not gonna fall for it. We're just gonna scan right in the middle and it should pinpoint down only one of only one of them for us to scan next. Yep, there it goes. So we actually found a combat site. We're not we're not set up for combat, so we're just gonna right click and ignore that result. And then we're gonna move our pros over to the last one. And then begin a scan if it looks like it's lined up pretty good, which it is. And it's a wormhole so right click ignore result we're gonna find some stuff that we don't want but that's okay we're just gonna go to the next system see how convenient it is just to have this route this uh, route already set up we can just right click on the next system and then jump through stargate and there we go and since we're using a frigate for this we warp, we warp at about five AU per second and then we have all these speed modules so we actually go to warp in under three seconds so we spend a lot less time just going jumping through systems because we're set up for for speed all right this is what was actually our first stop it looks like this system is pretty populated but that's okay and there's actually no signatures here to scan so we're just gonna go ahead to, to our next one so just right click on the system and then jump through Stargate Uh, this system looks pretty populated, but we're going to scan this cosmic sig signature anyway. So just double click in space, drop your probes, go to the little baby map, align your probes on the red bubble, make sure your probes encompass the red bubble, and then click analyze or press B. But yeah, I'm going to start going pretty fast here. As fast as I can because that's the that's the goal you don't want to spend too much time doing this because you could get nothing or you could get something so the quicker you can do it the sooner you'll find out and you get to save even more time you can just go ahead and click on your double click on your next uh, system in your route and your ship will go ahead and start aligning that way so we'll instantly go to warp. So there we go. Right click, ignore result for the wormhole. And then we can go uh, right click on the route, jump through Stargate. And don't forget to suck your pros back in. And there we go. We're not even going to bother with this one because it looks like there's a it's pretty populated, so probably somebody has probably already done that one. So we're just going to head to the next system. Yeah. So what we're looking for is a lot of cosmic signatures because then we have the biggest chance of finding a data or relic site. Alright, 
right, this system's totally empty, so let's go ahead and scan this cosmic signature and see what we can get. Click on your probes, click on your baby map, and then put your probes over the signature. And then begin scanning. And if y'all are wondering what this green bubble is down here, this is actually our directional scanner. And it's set to 1AU, so this is a 1AU bubble that we can scan with our directional scanner. All right, looks like it's doing that double pro, double uh, signature tricky dicky thing. So we're going to put our probes right in the middle of it and then decrease our range a little bit. And hopefully it'll pick it up right there. So we're going to click B and then scan right in between them. All right, so looks like no signature detected. So that means we made our probe strength, our probe size too small. So we're gonna need to click on it and then increase our probe size and then scan again, because we totally lost it. All right, there it goes, they're scanning again. All right, so we've got a cosmic signature here. So we're going to put our probes right on top of it and then do a pretty concise scan right on top of it and we'll probably get to see what it is exactly and we can either hack it if it's a data relic site or we can move on all right looks like we need to scan it one more time so put your your probes over it and then Decrease your probe size a little bit and then click analyze or B. Alright, it is a unstable wormhole, so we're gonna right click that and no result. Suck our probes in and go on to the next system. Alright guys, this system looks pretty promising. We've got three signatures here, so we're going to go ahead and drop our probes. Go to our little solar system map. And we're going to start scanning. So it looks like this one in the middle we can scan. So we're just going to go ahead and put our probes over there and click B. It's a combat site, unfortunately, so we're gonna click ignore result. We're gonna put our probes on to the next one. Looks good. Go ahead and start scanning. As wormhole, right click the ignore result. And if you want to move your map around here, just right click on the map and you can drag it around wherever you want.
Alright, another combat site, right click, ignore result. We'll head on to the next one. Here we go. Now there's a bunch of signatures, so we're gonna have a scanning field day. Double click in space to uncloak. Drop your probes. Maybe map. All right. Now we got a lot of work to do. So I'm just gonna do one big scan right in the middle to kind of see what our best targets are. So it looks like we're about in the middle right there. So we're just gonna do a big scan. and try to pinpoint some of these down quickly. All right, looks like 13% is our highest one, so we're just gonna go ahead and start there. So just drag your probes over there and start scanning. All right, I'm gonna go through these as fast as I can, because that's the goal. You don't, you don't wanna spend too much time on this, because we don't know what we're gonna get. Combat site, right click, ignore result. Let's go to the next one, 15%. I'm really hoping we find a site here. Wormhole, right click, ignore result. Go to the next one. Looks like there's a cluster of three, so I bet we'll get a good scan on a few of these here. Alright, we got a data site here. That's exactly what we want to see. So let's go ahead and scan this one down and get to work. So at this point, you can either go ahead and scan down the site all the way, or you can keep scanning. So if we scan down the site all the way, we can just go ahead and once it's green, right click on it, we're up to zero. Local, local Sancho Shattered Life Support Unit. All right, seems pro promising. A data analyzer module will be invaluable in uncovering the secrets hidden here. Perfect, we got a data module right there. Data, data analyzer. All right, let's go ahead and close these, all this map stuff. And as you can see, there's three different info shards here, and those were, are what we're going for. It's a shattered container, scattered container. So you just click on it and approach, turn on your MWD. And make sure you lock it up, of course. And then turn off your MWD. And make sure your ship is kind of stopped, and you're going to need to be at least 5,000 meters away to start hacking it. So once our ship is kind of slowed down a lot, we're going to go ahead and click our data analyzer module and we're going to begin the hacking game. And so we start here on this orange and then we just click the nodes. Make sure you click on any items that you find. Um, not any items, but uh, make sure they're actually useful, they're actually items that'll help you because there's some that will hurt you. So we're just going to keep going through, through here. So there's a bad module. You don't want to click on that. You don't want to click on the uh, defense subsystems until you absolutely have to. So you want to click everywhere besides there. So it looks like we've kind of run into a dead end, so we're going to either have to go this down here this way or up here this way. I think I'm going to go up. So I'm going to keep climbing up through here. And I usually avoid these until I have to click those as well. So it looks like we ran into another system, uh, defense subsystem, which is bad. So I'm just going to click everywhere I can. And this is full of subsystems. So I'm going to keep going down through this way. So I'm going to click my little wrench to gain some more virus coherence. And then click on that uh, defense subsystem and keep going down through here. All right. And there's what we want to see, the system core. So once we find the system core, we're just going to keep clicking on that until it says system hack successful. And then it's going to open up the can. 
and then we're going to click on open cargo while still locked or you don't have to be locked onto the cam but you need to be your overview has to be um, selected onto the cam so as you can see here this is the contents of this particular info shard and then we're just going to click loot all not bad 500,000 so we're going to uh, unlock this you can right click on it and then unlock target and then we're going to go to the next one so sometimes they're pretty far away so make sure you hit approach and then turn on your micro drive there we go we're almost to it so just, just, un, uh, just turn off your micro drive and then once we're right on top of it stop your ship as you can see we're right on top of it looks pretty crazy and we're going to click data analyzer and we're going to begin the hacking game again so I just kind of go around the outside of the game as much as I can and then I collect all the good items the wrenches and whatnot and then it looks like there's an Astero landing here so we're gonna go really quick so we can get steal all the cans from the Astero This looks like a pretty pretty good one. Looks like the Astero is warping off. Good. So that means we have some company over here, but it's okay because we're in high sec, and if they shoot us, they'll get concorded. Which Alright, there's the system core. See, we found that one really quick. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. Alright, that actually I mean 135,000, that's not bad. So for our first site, we actually got 1. Uh, 1.3 million. So we paid for our ship in just one data site. So you can see that data sites can be pretty good. So it looks like we got some competition. So I'm just gonna head and double click in space and fly off this crazy looking can here. Just keep double clicking until your ship starts moving in the direction you want. All right, there we go. I'm gonna launch our probes and let's see if we can like get some of these pin pinned down and get them before our, the little our stereo buddy gets to it gets to them before we do. Let's go ahead and start scanning. Alright, the guy's name was Static X. Let's see how old. Alright, let's see, 16%. Oh, we like totally missed that one because we're in too big of a hurry. But yeah, that's uh, part of the game that you got to think about. There's other players in the game and they're after the same thing you are. So this person, Zadik X, is in a more advanced ship doing the same thing we are. So we just got to get it scanned out quickly. So speed is always to your advantage in this game. Combat site, right click ignore result. Let's go into the next one. Combat site, right click ignore result. Go to the next one. Last one looks like it's over here by itself. Whoa, way off there. Drag it back down here. Make sure it's on top of it, and then analyze. Alright, 
it's combat science. So let's go ahead and move on. So don't forget to recover your probes and then just right click and then jump through Star Stargate on our route. So the next two systems we're going to be looking into is ID IDES and ETOV. And we are 1.3 mil richer than we were when we started. You know what, we're already in ETOV. So let's go ahead and scan here. Double click in space. Drop your probes. So we can just go ahead and right click on ETOV and remove waypoint because we're already going to scan it. Let's get started. Oh, should have decreased the probe size there, but. I hit analyze too quick. So our last system will be IDIS. So let's increase our probe size, our, yep, probe size, and then center it back up. Okay, here we go. We got a relic site. Perfect. So I'm just kind of keeping an eye on local here, looking for that static X guy, because he's our competition. So this D scan is kind of getting our way, so let's go ahead and close that. Then I'll eliminate the green bubble. We just want to kind of pinpoint it as much as we can and then start analyzing. And I, don't s I didn't see anybody on D-Scan and that kind of tells me that nobody is in the site right now which is perfect for us because it means it's empty and ready for us. So once it's green, right click on it in your probe scanner and then warp to zero. And it's good. Unfortunately I didn't read what it said but that's okay we know it's a good it's the kind of side we want because we got a relic analyzer ready to go. Alright, we got four containers here. So just right click on it and approach. Make sure you lock it up. You can lock it up by either control clicking on it or right clicking on it and then locking target. Right click, lock target. So once we're in 5,000 meters, we're going to click our Relic Analyzer, since this is a Relic site. And then we're going to begin the hacking game. It's the same hacking game as the data sites. Ooh, we're hitting a lot of defense modules here. It's not good. Hopefully we get a wrench soon. Oh, there's our wrench. We need to go ahead and click on our wrench and get some more hit points back. Ooh, we got another wrench. Very nice. Oh, there's our there's our uh, system core. That's what we wanted. So click on our ones that has the empty box, and that's the one that we just hacked. And we can click open cargo, and we'll see what we got. All right, 437,000. Not too terrible, especially for a relic site in high sync. Next, we're gonna fly over to this one, the Sancha Debris. Once we get within 5,000, we'll begin hacking. All right, there we go. All right, let's begin the hacking game. Oh, there's a wrench. Yep, see, I went too fast and I lost my wrench. I gotta go through the defense subsystem and get my wrench back. 
but I'm gonna go everywhere that I can without breaking through the systems. All right, let's go ahead and break through this system because we know we, we'll get a wrench out of it. All right, let's go ahead and grab our wrench and break through that system. All right, there's the core right there, perfect. So we got it hacked, we're gonna open cargo. And it looks like there is nothing in that one, unfortunately. So we're going to control shift and then click right on there. And it's going to unlock it for us. And we're going to go to the next one. So lock it up, control click, right click approach, turn your micro warp drive on and then turn it off. Once you get close and then minus sign, stop your ship. And then we're going to make sure it keeps approaching it. Get a little bit closer. All right, rug analyzer. All right, there's the system core, perfect. Sometimes it's really quick, sometimes it takes a moment. All right, 750, 705 ISK. All right, now we in the money. All right, there's the last one right there. Let's go ahead and fly over to that one. But yeah, th data sites are definitely the most profitable in HiSec. So just remember that, data sites are the most profitable in HiSec when it comes to exploration. All right, so we're gonna Scan, we're going to hack this last one. We'll see what we get. But I just love the hacking game. So I'll do all the relic and data sites that I find. And you should too. Alright, looks like we have no choice but to break through some of these defense systems. Nope, not over there. It must be over here in this corner. Yep, there it is. Alright, 7,000 is. That's not very good, but let's keep, let's scan this last uh, site here. Alright, let's go ahead and go to our little map and move our probes over to this next location. And make our probes bigger. Go ahead and start scanning. And you probably don't want to stick around. There could be uh, NPCs that show up and try to kill you, so I'm just going to right click in space. And let's see where our next system is. I'm going to right click in space. And I'm actually going to find uh, ideas. So I can just right click on my overview and then warp to zero to our next Stargate. So I'm, we're ready to jump once we figure out what this next uh, cosmic signature is. Let's see how much ISK we got so far. Okay, almost 2 million. It's not bad. system after this and hopefully it's the big one Ooh, another relic site all right let's go ahead and hack it might as well we're already here right we'll actually read what it says this time Crumbling Sancha Antiquated Outpost. Right click, warp to zero. Ancient ruins stand silent and still in the cold vacuum of space, a sober reminder of times long since past. A relic analyzer module will be, will be vital in gaining a deeper understanding of the numerous artifacts located here and finding something of value among the rubble. And that's exactly what we want. We want something valuable in the rubble. See what we got here. Hopefully, there's a bunch of cans. All right, three cans. All right, let's go ahead and start the one closest to us. Control click and then right click approach. And also, the hotkey for approach, the hotkey for approach is Q. So you just click on it and then click Q, and it'll start approaching it. Once we get within 5,000 meters, we can begin the hack. analyzer Oop, double wrench nice 
Alright, looks like we're going to have to break through one of these defense systems, so I'm going to click my wrench. And then start breaking through these subsystems here. Ooh, there's a lot of systems to break through. Alright. There it is right there. Good. We got lucky. Let's see what we got. Alright, 65,000. It's better than nothing. Oops. Didn't want to click that one. Then we're going to lock our next one and then approach and then turn our micro warp drive since it's 30 kilometers away. I'll stop it, but I just want to keep right clicking and approach. And then once we get in 5,000 meters, we'll start the hack. Let's break that one since we know we get a wrench out of it. And then we'll continue our hacking journey. Click our wrench because we're getting low on hit points, as you can see here. Oh, there it is. System core. Alright, there's actually nothing in that one, unfortunate. We're going to go to the next one. So, if you can't actually lock it because you're too far, let's go ahead and right click on it and approach. And then start your micro warp drive and we'll fly right on over there. Alright, go ahead and lock it up. Turn off the micro warp drive. We want to make sure we get in a pretty stable area because I've actually bounced off cans before and broke my hack because I bounced over 5,000 meters away from it. So, activate our relic analyzer once we're sh our ship is stable. Let's start figuring out what's going on in this can. Oh, there's our system core. All right, and let's go ahead and see what's in it. Oh, 300 discs. Yep, so that, so I guess you want to focus on data sites if you want to get the most bang for your buck. So let's just go ahead and right-click on our next our next and last stop, IDES, and see what's in that system. And don't forget to recover your active probes, but I'm pretty sure if you jump into the next system without recovering your probes, it will automatically do it for you. Yeah, it hasn't been super profitable, but we've almost doubled the amount of is that we paid for our ship. So we've paid for our ship, and we've made an extra million on top of that. When you're starting out, that, that can be huge. Alright, it looks like there's no cosmic signatures in here, unfortunately. So this will be the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe, so I know I'm doing a good job. And comment below if you have any questions for me, I'll answer them as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.